Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a nighttime routine. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. So I'm gonna start off with taking off my makeup. And I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena wipes. I know a lot of people actually don't like these wipes, but I've tried other wipes and I don't really like them. This still seems to be my favorite one. So I always start off with taking off my eyebrows like this. And then my eyelash, my mascara. Couldn't think of the word. I wear waterproof mascara. I don't know why, I mean, I think it's because my mom always wore waterproof mascara. So I just started wearing waterproof mascara, but it's so hard to take off. It literally takes so long. I literally have to like yank on my eyelashes to get all the mascara off. Okay, so next I'm gonna take off my tinted moisturizer, blush, bronzer, situation. I don't usually wear too much makeup on an everyday basis. So I think it's all. Um, my hair is greasy. I'm gonna wash it tonight. Oh, if you hear my sister in the background, she's playing Fortnite. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. So next I take this bar of soap from Caress. Soap. That never happens. <laughs> Soap it up in my hand. Like that. And then put it on my face. Would say that the only reason why I don't like the Neutrogena wipes is because it sometimes, not all the time, sometimes it burns my eyes. I do because I'm impatient. I don't know if you guys notice, but I whenever I finish like a sentence, I'll say and yeah or so yeah. Bad habit of mine. It's like my transition. Okay, so I'm gonna go shower. Then you'll see the products I put in my hair and the products I put on my face. Okay, guys. So I just got out of the shower. And I'm gonna take out my hair turban thingy. And then I'm gonna brush out my hair. This is like my favorite comb. It's really old, <laughs> but it is called Cricut Fast Flow. Okay, once I have all of my hair brushed out, I take coconut curls from OGX. Put it in my hair, starting from the roots. I found this really helps because I've been struggling with um, frizziness for a while. I don't know why. Like I feel like it came out of nowhere. Like I don't, I don't think my hair was frizzy before, but I've noticed that within the last year, my hair has been really frizzy. But I found that this helps with the frizziness big time and as you can see my hair isn't dead because I literally got it cut not too long ago but this part of my hair dries out really fast so I get this oil ology nutrient rich coconut oil I love my coconut <laughs> and I put that in just the ends of my hair it says that it contains natural nutrients Men's split ends controls frizz and that it's paraben free and I usually get that at Marshall's it's only $5.99 and then this one I usually get at this one at Walmart and next I get this 
Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion for body and face. And I just rub it into my face. And then I get this Proteiny Polypeptide Cream from Drunk Elephant. And it's not an eye cream, but I use it as an eye cream. They say to dab dab, dab dab, but no. So next I put on, this is like my holy grail product. I use this, I take this with me everywhere. It is just Vaseline. And that's what I use for chapstick. And I find this to be a lot more effective in keeping your lips um, moisturized than chapstick. And then next, I don't know if you could see, let's zoom in. But I had a pimple right here and it turned into like a little scab. So for that, I use triple antibiotic ointment to help it heal and to kind of prevent it from scarring because I, I didn't do this when I was like a teenager and I have little acne scars especially like in this area but ever since um, I started doing this whenever I get a pimple and I put on this triple antibiotic it kind of prevents it from scarring and then lastly I've been using this since I've been like 16 years old probably 15 um, when I used to struggle with acne a lot more but um, I kind of just got into the habit of using it. It's the Epiduo Full Medicine. And I don't really know why I use it as much. I mean, I do get pimples during like that hormonal part of the month. But like I said, I just got used to it. So yeah, that is what I do every single night for um, getting ready basically for bed. Um, seems like a long process, but this literally takes me probably like two minutes when I'm not recording myself. Okay, so to conclude this part of my night routine, usually I'll just kind of get into bed and unwind. And by doing that, I either like just go straight to bed and kind of just like try to fall asleep. But let's be real, for the most part, I usually go on my phone, just go through all my social medias for like 10, 15 minutes, and then I knock out. Or I watch YouTube that I, I would say I probably fall asleep 90% of the time with YouTube. So I'm gonna show you like my little setup, like what I do, because it's like it's it's a real situation. I literally I can't really sleep without it. So yeah. Okay guys, so this is my outfit of the night. Just some cute little banana PJs from Forever 21. And yeah, great for summer when it's hot okay guys so this is my bed not that interesting but basically this is my setup fun fact I don't get under the covers <laughs> I don't know why so basically how I end my night put on some YouTube I don't know if you can see it but put on some YouTube and watch a video placing it right here and I just fall asleep so yeah thank you so much for watching make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe turn on your post notifications down below so you never miss a video bye or should i say 